Alright, we're checking out the only games where brain damage is its own form of currency. It's Bone Breaking Tycoon. This is The Hill. This is Jack and Jill. This is both of them getting yeeted into the stratosphere. Now, after getting yeeted, obviously you can utilize some of your mouse movement here to get various bonuses and cause additional damage like this. And it it tallies up everything, including cuts, bruises, torn ligaments, broken bones, concussions, and brain damage. Oh, we had uh, two neck breaks there. I was really focusing on the head. Now, once you get your money from causing brain damage, you get to do various other things, such as upgrade the cut level or change the mountain. Oh, I can get an additional crowd member for $328? Absolutely. And uh, yeah, more more cut levels. Actually, more cut levels. Give me all the cut levels. Don't worry about me. Just giving my guys some extra names. How is there not one gray person here? There we go. Uh-huh. Perfect. We need a pink. There we are. Okay, that makes sense. All right, boys. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> okay, now let's, uh, I'm gonna lean them more over toward the, uh, the side over here. I want to catch all these different chunks. You can see all the bruises. There we go. Extra ligaments. Uh-huh, perfect. Let's go ahead and switch over to another player. Oh, he already made it down. Make it stop is is my MVP. Whoa, what happened to his body? <laughs> Make it stop is my MVP over here. You done? You still falling? 46 broken bones. See, now we're starting to move the bone breaks around. Uh, yeah, more bruises. Why not? Extra people to throw down the mountain is easily the best use of your money. Richard's over here. He's like, hey, everyone, what's your name? And it's like, please, no, make him stop. And I love turkey. Richard's like, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that is perfect. Let's see if I can sweep this more over toward this. Ah toward the very edge of this wall and then oh oh we got we happen to have a <laughs> we happen to have a very violent looking shape i love violent shapes i decided to get please no over here this time and i want to know what happens if i just drag him around the entirety of the mountain look he can stick almost to the mountain i love being in complete control of gravity I am the gravity master. To be fair, gray and gravity both start with the letter G. More crowd members. Go, my yeety friends. Now, what happens if I really focus on just like a big landing? Like a, ugh, oh God, ugh, oh. oh, Richard, are you okay? Richard's like, what do you think? I'm being dragged by a poltergeist all throughout the mountain. I love turkey. Putting down. His, his body on the line to make big money. Collection bonus right there. Now, if you notice, I love Turkey leads with his ankles. He's trying to save his head for last, like a fine dessert. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's my biggest amount of money yet. What does Windy Mountain look like? <laughs> uh, yeah, more bruises. I love how normally it would be thick skin, but this is thin skin. Okay, I have upgraded a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna throw everyone kind of backwards to see if we can hit, there we go, all these walls over here. Wow, this is a really big mountain. Oh my God. Yeah, just, just keep that speed going. Look at the speed. I am going out of the mountain at this point. Three collection bonuses. Throwing them backwards is, is the way to go, the way. I can't, believe, I can't believe I still have all of my limbs, to be quite honest with you. I'm trying to gain more and more speed. My leg just pulled itself across the entire map like a piece of Laffy Taffy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, like a, like a graceful swan. A graceful broken swan. Four thousand dollars! All right, I'm gonna try and pull them all over to the wall. Every single one of them. There. I pulled every person over to the wall. I'm trying to keep all of them here as much as possible. See, so make him stop. Pull in big numbers for the group. Here we are. Oh, Richard fell on the ground first. Vanessa's over here not doing anything at the moment. Come on, I want to keep everyone moving. We got to keep that. We got to keep those ligaments getting torn after all. There's a nice collection bonus. 
Richard, you can just keep doing the worm or whatever down there like you're doing. Get two more collection bonuses. There we are. I love how make him stop is always last on the ground. Oh, hey, it's Vanessa. Hi. Just flinging everyone over to the side. Thought I would see how it does. I love how it's just one single dude that's doing all the vocal talent for this entire game. This could have been me. I could have been the one. All I had to do was just go, eh, ah. Uh, it actually sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> I'm just trying something just to see if it gets me extra broken bones or like extra money or anything like that. Not really. You really need to go hard, although I can buy a new mountain. <laughs> All right, let's get more thin skin levels here. Welcome to Silent Mountain. What's so silent about it? Okay, Silent Mountain is unbelievably deep. <laughs> God, it's like the Sarlacc pit. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Anytime I see my characters. Oh, I got a concussion. Okay. I don't know if we have any brain damage yet. There's so much distance to cover in order to fall to the bottom. That's another concussion. Five concussions. They're all just stacking up at once. I am outside the board. I never thought it would be so hard to micromanage a bunch of random floppy bodies in order to hit as many ledges as humanly possible. It is a management game. <laughs> oh, right on the god. <laughs> right on every single rock he could have fallen on. Hey, turkey, this is your chance to shine, baby. Oh, you missed it. How could you do that? More crowd members. Okay, they are tumbling down the hill decently. I'm not really sure where they're losing a lot of speed, though. You can see all the concussions as everyone finally hits the ground. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab any bonuses I can. So there's one collection bonus. Okay, ricochet off the wall. There's the other collection bonus. And I think everyone's finally flopped to the ground. I've got an entire company of people now falling so that I can make gigantic stacks of cash. <laughs> Get the bonuses! Yes! Come on, you're not done yet. Flop on that bonus. Good job, buddy. You're getting a raise, Richard. You know, if, if you do end up surviving this. Louie, you are like my ace in the hole. Okay, good ricochet there. You did a great job, Louie. Go ahead and grab that bonus for the team. You missed the bonus. We're starting to get a hundred broken bones at this point. More broken bones. Level four, level five, level six. Left hip breaks. I love how specific it gets. Right hip, right leg, right foot. Other stuff. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see the giant group of people plummeting wildly? collecting bonuses. I love it. Now I have to do this until I get brain damage. That's the most rare thing that you can get on any of these creatures. So obviously it has to happen. $5,000, still no brain damage. That's okay, we'll increase the propensity for it. I'm buying all the brain damage. My employees are probably like, why are you increasing this? Think of it like on-the-job training. You guys really need to start trying to stop your fall using your heads more. Still no brain damage. It's like trying to catch a rare Pokemon. All right, which one of you is going to be the first one? Louie, is it going to be you? Oh, wow, that was a heavy hit. I think that was 11 broken bones from that one. I bought so many levels of brain freeze at this point, trying desperately to get the brain damage. I never thought that this would be one of my my most sought after things to achieve in a game. <laughs> this is where we've gone. Okay, big concussions, looking good. More concussions, yeah, that's not bad. I'm getting six grand each time I throw these guys off a mountain, which is great. The company is getting even larger. I wanna see if there's such a thing as terminal velocity. So I'm trying to free fall right to the ground like that. Oh, there it is! Oh, I got the brain damage! Yes! It's Hero Stickman Dismount. 
I'm not gonna lie, I am so happy that someone went right ahead and did professional voice work in this game. Now, as is fairly typical in this bone-breaking game, we of course have to find a way to completely destroy the physics of the software and break infinite bones, but I have to give this particular game props because besides having one billion freaking maps, all the stick figures have special abilities. <laughs> this gives you an idea of how insane the creator went. Oh my God. <laughs> I am really glad that there's a slide to hell, but you gotta start somewhere. So we're going into jump hole. <laughs> now we do have some vehicles here as well. I like how one of them is just called the love chair. <laughs> the price for it is six nine, of course it is. Oh, I got like a free future bike. Can I afford any props? I love the bladed hypnosis that's going on here. Oh, and a double penetrating thruster. Uh, what kind of props we got? Saws, arrow turrets, a blade <laughs> turret. Now clearly I need more money. Although I will put some beady gloves down here because I can afford them. Excellent. Oh, and I can wear stupid stuff too. Like a missile. All right, dollar store Spider-Man. I love that he has spider BO coming off of him. It's fantastic. And yay. Right? Yep, Spider-Man definitely super agile, as you can see here, using his, oh God, tongue to lick the ramp. Oh, I completed an achievement. Is it you ruined your childhood hero? I didn't get all the way down the hole, which is kind of annoying. So we're going to just ride this thing to the bottom. All right, you know what? Now we're gonna do this. Oh, you could use it whenever you want. Uh, my spine. Oh, that's hot. Oh yeah. Right in the balls. You know, that worked out pretty well. Eject. I'd like to get into the wheel well if I can. Come on, keep going, Spider-Man. Just resting my head on the uh, broken metal. Beauty. Uh. Oh, yeah! Now we're starting to get somewhere. Holy God! Just got 50,000 coins! We're going, we're going straight to the big leagues! Uh, yeah, let's do this one. One of these has to eventually give me the potential for infinite money. I still can't buy the 69 chair. I can get better props, though. Uh, yeah, more saws. In fact, all the saws. Go! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah! I probably should have held off <sighs> on the spider powers. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and ride. Never mind, I'm gonna get hit in the face by my own tire. Come on, Spider-Man, keep moving. No! We're nowhere near infinite bones yet. I am not satisfied. I always think that just holding on to this motorcycle is probably uh, the way to go. All right, oh, nice. In between the two of them. You know what, can I, can I just Spider-Man myself right into it? What the hell is happening above me? Yeah, just take a little off the top. Perfect. Only 4,100 bones. Child's play. I can buy the pinwheel. Ooh, I can buy the missile in a second. I am the part of my, <laughs> I was gonna say, part of my motorcycle is stuck inside of my abdomen. Ugh. All right, now Spider-Man your way up there. Come on. He's like, listen, I'm paralyzed. Give me a break. All right, 5,500. All right, now I can legitimately buy the missile. All right, what the hell does it do? <gasps> Woo! Am I off the board? Yes. I've left the entire board! <laughs> oh, this is what's over here. 5,900. All right, considering I have the missile and the web sling, there's ugh, there's no way I can fail this. Well, I call it a web sling. It's, I guess it's <laughs> whatever he managed to get from Costco. Oh yeah, we're getting all the way down this time. Oh my God, they are stuck deep inside of my balls. Yes, infinite. Infinite go! The blade was just stuck on my groin. He's actually doing it forever. 12,000 bows! We're gonna do this. This rocket is the best purchase I ever made in my life. Man, if there's one thing I love doing, it's eating part of my motorcycle. This is a great place to get stuck. It's fine, I'm sure Spider-Man can heal through this. Come on, use it, use the rocket, yes! 9,200 bones. We're going for a yeet of a lifetime. Glorious! Rise up, my child! 13,000. There has to be a way to get into the millions. I don't know what rage stick is, but I want it. Oh my god! 
What the hell? Can I, how can I even web sling? There's nothing for me to web sling to. I'm getting infinite points because I ripped my rack doll in half. <laughs> I can't, I'm not even on the screen. Look at the score. Yeah. Well, I just realized now that you can completely dismember the characters in this game. This game just got a thousand times better. We're going to Meteor Valley. I had to throw some money at this so that we could do this. Oh yeah. Yeah, all that. All right, shield stick. It's about time to get whatever the hell a blade turret is too. I grab the steam as well. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Actually, I'm gonna do steam down here. Anytime you see green balls in a stick man game, that means you're gonna be bouncing. And a saw here, there we go. And we're finally doing it. We're getting the love share. <laughs> yeah, get up deep in there, Cap. Perfect. Oh, damn it. This friggin' chair protected the hell out of me. Get in there. Okay. There's the shield. I think I'm actually gonna replace all these with steam. Problem is we need to get over all this crap into the bouncy area and eject. Perfect. Yeah, just rest. Just rest your balls on top of the, no, the tire there. God. Beauty. All right, now we're gonna... Come on, arc your ass over there. It's a lot harder to get over on this side than I uh, previously anticipated. As much as I hate to do it, I think I'm gonna get rid of the love chair for now. Actually, hold on. There has to be a way to get my body stuck into one of these things. Oh! I needed that half of me. Come back, legs! Ow. I love how this is just called container. All right. Yes! Perfect! I don't know where that half of my body went. I was gonna say, which which part of the body is the important one? Let me try rage. Oh, I can... <laughs> I can make the entire car go with me. This is the part that the game decided to focus on. It's like one bicep. Oh, hey, there's my pelvis. Up, up, and away! Oh, yeah. He's like a graceful swan. Graceful swan. Okay, the points are starting to rack up now. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping is the way to go. Oh, it's freaking glorious! Okay, we're at a quarter million. Come on, infinite points. No, don't get sucked into there. Nice. A right, little brain damage is fine. Every flip now is getting us like 15,000 points. Yeet! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! Okay, half a million. That's still not good enough. All right, I never actually got over this way, so let me see if I can, uh... Oh, yeah! I was gonna say, experience what it's like. It's pretty glorious. Where's the balls? Ah, uh, yes. We're finally utilizing Iron Man's drug abusing. Cousin, you've heard of, oh my God. I was gonna say you heard of Iron Man. This Iron Flan. Shark Jaws, tell me more. Oh, this looks absolutely punishing. I love it. So what we're gonna do is put a couple of saws here. I might as well use the blade turret. I paid for it after all. I want my, I want my appropriate level of masochism. I put good money into this agony. Here we go. Alrighty. Yep, that's not bad. Mmm, I don't really know where that blood came from. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. This is probably the best, the best one yet. Get your ass off of there. That was like the worst spider manning I've ever seen in my life. Thank God I have all these different toys to ruin my life with. Crap. I feel like the problem with this bicycle is I'm only driving it. Well, I'm either driving it with one hand or Spider-Man has half of his shirt untucked. I really don't know what the hell's happening here. Oh, oh, that was an epic dodge. Just go ahead and eat this Shrek ball here. Huh. I feel like I made it through there a lot better than, oh my God. Jesus. I got double fisted. Oh yeah, well, there we go. All right, now let's, uh, hold on now. This can't be the end. Go ahead and rise up, my son. 
Beauty. I mean, at least we're getting into the 10,000s with bones pretty routinely, but until I start getting into the 100,000s, I don't really think it's good enough. Slide up, you say? I hate physics too. What the hell? How come these blades get to be on steroids? This is the slowest bicycling I ever did. I actually screwed up. Pfft. The hell? Man, he really wants to hold on to those handlebars. Look at the size of the blades. How come my blades are so crappy and their blades are drinking all the damn protein shakes? Here we go. Let me go ahead and Spider-Man my way up here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Matt. I was going to say that's maximum thrusting. Ow. How come I got counted down? What was my pelvis dislocated and doing its own thing? When in doubt, cauterize the wound. Ugh. All right, well, right now my arm is stuck into my spine. I feel like that is a medical anomaly. Okay, so far so good. You ain't done yet. Get your ass up there. Oh, hell yes. Oh, this is fantastic. Fall up was, was a great idea. Where did I end up at? Where the hell am I? Ow. All right, let me go ahead and rocket my way up here. Mmm. There's still plenty more ups to go. I do appreciate that Captain Stick is a blue blood. And now I'm gonna go ahead and chew on my own toe. Yay! Getting all the flips in. Oh, there goes one of my arms. Luckily, that was the arm I don't use that much. Oh, I was an adventurer until I took a thruster to the knee. I think I hit every single Shrek ball there is. Use the kit! Look at the speed! <laughs> Damn it, my arm was still getting points. 53,000 bones. Oh, the shield is a homing device. I had no idea. Oh, <laughs> I'm stuck inside of the car. Or motorcycle. I experienced so much traumatic brain injury, I forgot what, sort of, what, what type of vehicle it is. Ugh. What is happening? If I use the kit, what gets thrusted, my rocket is gone. I'm getting a ton of points somehow. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna let this happen. Oh, yes. Told you I'd get 200,000. You know what, what the hell? 220, 240, 250. I love that I'm just getting points now through my body's disinterest at life right now. The figure of shield stick is like, I have been through so much. I don't want to exist anymore. It has opened its own black hole. Oh my God, I'm getting 10,000 points a second now. 389, 390, 400,000, 410, 423. No, why would you take it from me? Look at the score. This actually looks pretty awful. I want it. Torture is life. Oh yeah. Oh. My God, this was such a good idea. Doing excellently. Oh yeah, 38,000 bones. I think if I can get into here, I think I can go infinite. All right, so eject, prop. See if I can get over this. Missiles. Okay, how about this? Eject. If there's one thing I love, it's skydiving into arrows. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, fly, 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 fly. Go, 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 go. No! Ah, it's trying so hard to keep me out of there. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! I'm literally stuck to this thing! <laughs> Jesus! Well, that went quite well. Don't mind me. I'm just resting on these arrows. Oh, hey, there's the other half of my body. I was waiting for you to show up. And made it! Yeah, baby! Oh, give me that! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me the points! Give me the points! I want my love chair this time. Uh, yeah. We'll throw down more steam. This should work well. I gotta tell you. I understand why they call it the love seat now. I want to see if I can get into this tiny little hole right here. I'll bet if I can, I can... Oh. Oh, this works very well, too. Oh, yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna count me out. Oh, yeah! All right, not bad, but still not good enough. I'm not giving up until I crash this entire game with points. I'm gonna try saws instead. Yeet. I wanna become one with the love car. Oh, yeah, I am one with the love car. Damn it, I'm no longer one with the love car. Come back, love seat. Don't leave me. 
Actually, maybe you leaving me was a good idea. This is turning out to be very good. Oh yeah, it's so lucrative right in this corner. Oh, we don't need Achilles tendons where we're going. I like how he's just pelvically thrusting against the wall and getting a ton of points doing it. I will sit here forever game until I can afford everything. Oh, you're not gonna screw me over. Eh, 50,000 bones, still not good enough. I want infinite. Oh my God, that inserted itself into a terrible place. Why is it always the balls? Oh, oh, oh. So painful, but so good for points. Uh, I think I've, I've lost enough strawberry jam at this point. I haven't even hit the ground yet. I'm already at 70,000 points. That ain't bad. Oh, oh, I'm stuck in the wall this time. Yes, it's raining raspberry preserves on top of the people below. <laughs> Well, I mean, I got in the place I wanted to be. All right. We're getting closer to infinite points, but we're not there yet. A lot of balls. Well, there goes one of my arms. Could have been a leg too, not really sure. Okay, definitely. Oh yeah, baby, I love it. Oh, oh, my head is caught inside of the vehicle. This is perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Infinite points! I told you it was only a matter of time! <laughs> oh. Oh, it tastes. It tastes like sweet victory. Spider Man's like, it tastes like a mouthful of pennies! Look at it go! Yeah, go massage my other foot. Yeah, that one. Excellent. Perfect. Yeah, now massage the groin. Beautiful. Mm. This is what I pay for. I. I crashed the game. <gasps> I legit just crashed the game. <laughs> it couldn't even total up the amount of points and the points I broke. <laughs> Skate 3 is a game that has an entire open world that you can enjoy and you can get points and go through the hall of meat. Rookie numbers. A couple hundred points, a couple thousand points, not good enough. Today, I will go all throughout this game in an effort to break whatever I can possibly find in it. First things first though, I need to make a character. That looks too realistic. Yeah, let's give him like a gland problem. There. Facial presets, huh? Yeah, we gotta customize this. These are terrible. And by terrible, I mean they're actually too good for me to use. Skate 3 has all kinds of different things that you can do. But honestly, all I want to do is somehow get to space. All right. Yeah, wider, higher. Okay, now he just looks afraid. Well, actually, that's probably good. He should be afraid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, is it, can I get more of a unibrow? Uh, well, I can I can make his head jut out like he has a giant cancerous growth on his skull. That's perfect. Rotation. A brow rotation. Oh, it just makes him look... <laughs> kind of like regretful or angry. <laughs> let's go with regretful. And yeah, let's. I'm giving him basic. It looks basically like he has a gigantic swollen forehead. Considering how many times he's going to be smashing the pavement, that makes sense. Yeah, more length for the nose, more width for the nose. All the definition. <laughs> By definition, all it means is it looks like I'm chewing on a gigantic frisbee. <laughs> all the. I'm putting all this up. <laughs> God. And there we go. Congratulations. We've effectively just made Mr. Potato Head the skater. Actually, hold on. Let me, uh, no. Ah, there we go. Basically, I want him to look like a bowler who instead took up skating. Now, that is, that is hideous, which means it's absolutely perfect. All right. I'm here to break infinite bones and drink Bud Light. And I I actually still have plenty of Bud Light, which is good. Maybe it'll dull the pain. First things first. <laughs> I had to at least get in there and break the first bone. You know, you have to get that out of the way right off the bat. So the idea is, is the Hall of Meat basically shows you all of the damage that you take and how much points you get by doing dumb sh** in the game. So my plan is, is we both know there's a way to break this game. There's probably multiple ways to break the game. So I'm here to try and find all of them. I love your pickup truck. I hope you don't mind if I just, oh my God, what's the speed limit here? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I think I managed to break all four limbs. That's not too bad. So my very first idea is 
if I can get an insane amount of speed and maybe get hit by a vehicle or something like that, I may be able to get into at least like the 10,000. See right there, 5,200 points. Not good enough. I just realized too, I'm in the nicest part of town and I look, <laughs> I look like I'm the type of person that sells illicit drugs to everyone's teenage. Holy Jesus. Hey ma'am, have you seen my hypothalamus? Yeah, I left it. I didn't know that there was like a GTA fighting portion to this game. I'm not really like punching. I think these are supposed to be my little, my little like, yay, I'm so impressive at skating. What are you gonna do? You gonna call the police? You can call the police? Huh? She's like, no, I'm just trying to find a way out of this game. What the hell? Did I just get tased? I didn't know they could tase you in Skate 3. Yeet. Perfect landing right on the skull. Luckily, I've got, oh, oh, hey! I didn't know you could flop around like a fish to get extra points. Oh, we're going, we're going way past 50,000. The other problem is, like I said, I, I have to find a way to get to space. Just getting points and taking damage isn't good enough. Usually there's a way to at least, you know, destroy the realm of physics in these games. Like I said, for some reason in this friggin' neighborhood, the speed limit's like 400 miles an hour. So here we, come on, baby. Oh, there's no cars coming in this, what the hell? Ah! Okay, we're going for the legitimate skate park. This might be I'm pretty sure I just caught my wiener on that bar. My doctor's gonna be like gray. How sterile are you? The answer is yes Yet. And look at that land. See I actually know what I'm I was gonna say, I actually know what I'm doing. Yeah, the flopping like a fish definitely works. I just need a bigger hole to land in. That sounded really bad. You know what I mean. I love how all the damage to my physics professor reject stays. This is my new favorite place in the entire game. That is a freaking shark behind me. I'm going to break my spine on his dorsal fin. I love how there's another lady over there. She has the same idea. She's probably like, don't you touch that shark. I'm going to paralyze myself upon it. I love how they literally put a perfect ramp just right to the shark. You ready for this? First try, we're breaking all the bones. Here we go. And yeet! Oh, I totally missed. I still managed to break my entire spinal column though. That's good. I'm not stopping until I land on that shark's dorsal fin. Come on, baby. Wow, it is harder to hit this shark than I previously anticipated. But you can definitely break a lot of bones. This lady's like, oh my God, he's possessed by the devil. Come on, third time's a charm. No, I'm overshooting it. Oh, I landed on the other like rampy thing. <laughs> God, I love the way pavement tastes. I feel like there should be a ramp going into the shark's mouth. It seems to be like a missed opportunity. All I want for Christmas is to have that shark's fin go bite up my ass. Come on, yes! All it cost me was all of my femurs. Hey, hey lady, do you like my board? You want a closer look? <laughs> okay, okay, last, last, last try, last try. I just wanna do one more. I was hoping I could like really get some crazy numbers on this shark, but I may have to look for something else we're at 35,000 though. <laughs> Did somebody say gigantic staircase? Of course, the best way to land off the back. The best way to land is always on your forehead. I hope you're ready for an epic gray grind. And by grind, I mean I just found out that when you're flying, you can actually control your descent. There goes my dental. <laughs> The damn railing. Now you may be asking yourself, Gray, isn't that unsafe what you're doing? No, not at all. See, if you begin to lose your control, you just need a pedestrian to help you stop. What was that that flew off of her? Was that like her cell phone or something? Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, I think, now that, I did not knock her over there, by the way. I think she's just been drinking. Okay, that time it was me. Old man skater coming through. I've got a ton of warrants and a lack of conscience. This place here will be my palette. What the hell? Hold on a second. <laughs> Did you? 
What is happening? Right there. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, I have I have a goal here. Hold on. <laughs> I know there's a better way to do this. Come on. I'm getting really good at having my heel wrap around the back of my head and kick my own teeth out. Urgh! Nothing like having your skateboard go up your ass at like speed. Ah, uh, you! <laughs> I'm gonna land on the car. Come on! Ten points. Damn it! <laughs> there it is. 60,000 points! 86 foot vertical! <laughs> oh. My. God! <laughs> I went across it! <laughs> yes! Finally! <laughs> okay, I think I... <laughs> I think I got... Hold on, I need to look at that again. Okay, so... <laughs> Where is it? Right there. Okay, so this is our first instance of my pelvis getting vomited out of my ass. And right there is the second instance of me, like, going into some football stadium. Right about, wait for it, here is where a man understands that his life is forfeit. What a cursed image, too. I love how his body... <laughs> This looks like it's being anti Annie pretzel through the air. And up. <laughs> I feel like I can get even higher though. Like that's just- Hello. Lady, I can't do this while you're watching me. This lady's like, young man, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm skate break dancing, okay? It's the, it's the newest fad in middle age skaters. Don't judge me. I, now I have two old ladies watching me. What is going on? There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a sweet landing too. Right on the ass. What the hell? I think I just penetrated the earth so hard. <laughs> then it restarted me back at my skateboard because I did not go back to the <laughs> God. I did not go back to my original starting position there. Ah, damn it! Freaking hurdle got in the way of my progress. And by progress, I mean torturing my character. I think the best part is I'm doing this and this young girl is walking over with her skateboard. She's going to watch as I jellify my entire skeletal structure and she's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna pick a different sport. I'm gonna try table tennis. Uh, I'm hoping that if, I, if I'm if i moving while I do this, I can get even more distance or something. Come on. Yes. Oh God, I love painting the entirety of this board with my blood. <laughs> Hold on, Amazon delivery. <laughs> That's how you get your stuff next day, Amazon Prime. <laughs> I think I managed to break every bone in this dude's body on that one. Hey, young girl, you're still thinking about being a skater? <laughs> how about now? <laughs> Welcome to the quarry where dreams come true. People have asked, great, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a human torpedo! <laughs> come on, baby! 66! 70! 80,000, 85,000, yeah! <laughs> Did somebody get a boo-boo? Yeah, I just left half of my skin in the quarry. Don't mind me. I just found that you can kick this soccer ball around. <laughs> and so I've been screwing around for like the last 15 minutes. Ready, ready, hold on, here we go. Ready, and... God, I suck. And come on. God damn it. It's really hard to kick this thing. <laughs> Look, when you get to be my age, all right, it's not as easy. And there. Go! Yay! The high school that canned me is going to be watching this and be like, oh my God, not a moment too soon. All right, here's the plan. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Let me. God, this thing's so damn janky. I found that the best way to push this thing. It's just to run into it. All right, there we go. I practice safe skating. Oh, I actually got like, I like broke my fall, the netting. Okay, I found a really nice flat area because like I said, I'm not happy until I get to space. I've jumped to the entire board. I've broken basically every bone in this guy's body. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell happened? 
It's just a black screen. I'm just getting points on a black screen. Infinite points. I went down 26 feet. That's great. I didn't actually go up. I went to hell. All right, I've gotten to hell. I need to get to space. We don't need ankles where we're going. I'm like the John McClane of skating because the more I skate and the more I get the hell kicked out of me, my entire body and the <laughs> it's Ragdoll Fall. Welcome to the pinnacle of gaming. Effectively, you get to fall off higher and higher buildings, interacting with the different <laughs> parts of the buildings to create different environmental hazards for your character, and then it calculates how much pain you've achieved at the end and awards you with money. As you can see, all of the different bones count in this game. There's a nice pelvis destruction. Pretty sure my spinal column will be folding here in a second. Ah, there it is, as well as my right arm. And then finally, we get to land flat on our face as we run out of space to fall. Now, this is the very first board and we're already falling 220 meters. And then it shows you how much of your body you managed to break. Obviously, you need to break it all. This is also a fantastic game that has a leaderboard specifically designed in broken bones. I just noticed too, do I eventually have to jump out of an airplane? Like I start my childhood simply jumping off of buildings, but eventually I'll graduate. I also have to ask myself, how did I get on top of this thing? All right, so we're gonna go for the very first pillar right here for the arm break. See, this is a very technical game. And then onto the wire to break the leg. There we go. Now you can see my legs are caught inside of the wire. There goes the other arm. That's fantastic. This looks like an explosive barrel. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got to get the legs involved. Absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure I just got impaled through my stomach. That's nice. I think I may have broken that arm like six times already, but you know, I, you can never be too sure. There goes a femur and break the old butt muscles, including all of the, all of the ribs. Kind of slide along here. It's like I'm possessed by the poltergeist or something. Look at my God. Just <laughs> Wait a second. I think I just found something. Ready? Hold on. Watch, watch, watch. Yes, I can break the bones an infinite amount by just staying on top of this little pedestal. Infinite bones. Screw you, game. <laughs> All right, did we, you think we got everything yet? I guess, it's, I mean, we, we got to go on to the bigger, taller building. So I guess we'll find out when I get packed up here. How did I miss one single bone? My parents told me I could be anything I wanted. So I decided to become a hamburger. Oh. Now we have, are those, uh, <laughs> hold on, I gotta find out. Do you get to like bounce off of these or something? Yeah! All right, hold on, break a bone, there we go. Oh, no, I missed the other one. Uh, no, I want the explosive barrels. <laughs> My skull just splits in half. All right, maybe I can at least get this explosive barrel. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just possessed by the devil, nothing to see here. I can't believe how hard it is to blow up. <laughs> I'm just hugging the barrel. I can't manage to hit it. It's like controlling a drunken washing machine. All right, you know what? We'll just we'll just go through here. All right, down the scaffolding. Perfect. I can probably break a lot of things right here. I'm pretty sure that was an, a leg and an arm. Then we're gonna do the scorpion right across this wooden beam. That's lovely. And then on top of the hot dog stand or whatever this is over here, everyone's trying to have something to eat while their coworker vomits his internal organs all over them. I, I feel like these two people were just waiting there the whole time to pick me up because there's no ambulance that arrives that quickly. All right, one more and we get to go on to the next stage. Let me see where I wanna jump here. All right, we're gonna go straight out. <sighs> What did I break my head on? And my arm. Oh, no. Okay, come on. Hit the wires. Yeah, I'm caught inside. <laughs> I'm caught inside the wires. It bounced me upward. I'm going to, like, leave the entire board. I've moved so much. I wonder what happens if you leave the board. You probably just don't get to hit anything else. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, I've gotten one foot now. Okay, let's fall. Can I fall down the middle of this? Who put these safety railings here? I'm going to have this person's job. <laughs> All right, there we go. Man, so get off the side, hit this railing. That was basically every single bone in my body there, at least on the top half. Ah, I got the leg. Can't remember if I got the skull, so we'll try and 
Ah! I was trying to twist my body to hit that. It's not like it's doing anything for me anyway. <laughs> And there goes the spinal column, and we rest. I always seem to miss this humerus. Also, I've upgraded to a better tower, and I eventually can jump off the Eiffel Tower. Uh, 501 meters. Yeah. Spidey with the big break. Wait for it. I missed it. Exploded barrels. Uh. <laughs> I feel like my pelvis probably just ejected out of my mouth. There goes the skull, that's good. My skull went, went into two different directions, that's amazing. Oh, this building goes all the way around the side. All right, there's more of the spine. If it's, I've gotta see if I can get that one arm. All right, I'm pretty sure that was at least one of the arms that I never managed to get. All right, we've got this, this nice window cleaning booth that's just chilling out right here. All right, that's another arm, that's big. All right, Spidey, you're, you're making your parents proud, you know, by crippling yourself in ver various terrible ways. He's like, I can stick to the wall. Watch, Dad. <laughs> yes, son, I'm sure you can. Look at him walk. Look at how skilled he is. All right, there goes both of the lower legs. Oh, this is a fantastic place to get stuck on. Spidey! Right into, wait for it. I know there's a post over here. <laughs> it doesn't look like he's Spider-Man when that happens. It just looks like he's being abused by Scarlet Witch. Finally! Yes! Spider-Man's the one that made it happen. Oh, we're going right up the leaderboard. I was really hoping to land on 666. Also, who makes these buildings? Why are there just various pipes sticking out of the windows? Look at him. He's like, I landed on this piece of plywood and I'm totally safe. Except for the fact that- Raise a psychopath! Urgh! We need to obviously get to the tallest building there possibly is. The fact that we're already at half a kilometer above ground is pretty awesome. I do hope that we can get to like at least two to three. I want a, a baker's mile, if you will. Random exploding barrel just chilling out in the middle of nowhere. Of course, Gray manages to miss it. How could he not? And bounce off of the trampoline down here. I'm resting, just kidding. Oh, I wonder if I can hit this like outdoor AC unit that's just sitting here. No broken bones from that? Go Postal! Post office! <laughs> he ate the ground. Literally ate it. I just realized how far you can move in these boards. I'm completely away from the original building. There's still stuff to run into. Like way out here. I thought they were so much smaller. Look, there's an entire other building over here. I love how on this jump, my coworkers have literally walled me in. They're like, hey, great. Uh, would you like to jump off this building? I was like, no. They're like, how about now? You can't leave. Can I? Nope. Well, obviously, rather than calling my wife on the cell phone, I should just jump to my death. That's the easiest way out of this predicament, after all. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what's let's see what's on this side of the building. I, I don't think I've died over here yet. All right. Yeah. Just follow the scaffolding. Perfect. Oh. So we got a couple of AC units. I really want to fall on the post offices. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Says the guy with his ulna sticking out of his mouth. Okay, we're on the next, no parking. Up here? <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Ah, Violet! <laughs> this does not look like the Eiffel Tower. It looks like they turned the Eiffel Tower to like a NASCAR thing. There's so much advertising up here. What is going on? There's a lot of stuff to break your bones on though. I love how I'm wearing knee pads. Like it's going to save me. Get all three barrels. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. Ah, pushed me off the side. No. I'm gonna fall onto this no parking sign and just vomit up my stomach onto it. You can't tell me where to park. In fact, I'm gonna sleep here from now on. The only problem is, is that like, you know, over time, just gravity pulls you out of bed and tells you to go to school. <laughs> And right onto the, the beautiful green astroturf that they prepared for me. There's a random lawn chair up here. What was I doing with my spare time? Just like drinking a beer and thinking about exactly how I'm going to make myself unalive. Okay, just, just, just kind of like drinking or like licking the outer portion of the Eiffel Tower here is really excellent. Well, I say excellent. It's really great for making your bones hate you. There goes the skull, a nice explosion. Onto the balcony, 
for a secondary explosion. Gotta get this last barrel. Oh, there's, there's more, hold on. Wouldn't want to leave any of these alone. Gotta see if I can squeeze my ragdoll body through this tiny little opening. Come on, you can do it. You're a winner. He's like, my groin is caught on the edge of the Eiffel Tower. That sounds like something a quitter would say. Get over there. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually very hard to bring him around this way. Maybe I can make him ah! You failed me. So I'm dropping you like a bad habit on top of these shipping containers. The tower has just become like a dumping ground. Oh yeah. You do eventually get the plane. <laughs> Yeah! Why are there just random turbines laying up here? Oh, they actually get hit too! That's awesome, it's a car! What happened? Oh, it's so hard to hit everything, I'm falling so fast! No! <laughs> All right, I have to approach this with, with greater reflexes if I want to be able to hit all this stuff. Ugh. I think my bones got thrown out of my body so far. Some kid's probably like a mile away and he's like, mommy, there's something in my cereal. And his mother's like, that's a bone fragment. Are you ready? Okay, off the car. Beautiful. All right, let's turn this way. We got some explosive barrels. Oh, it's too hard to reach. Get the square. Oh, spatial awareness is so difficult when you're falling like this. Boxes over here. This is turning out way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank thank God there's a bunch of farmland for me to die into once I hit the ground as well. Big shipping container. You want to get your whole body on that. Perfect. Mmm. And if we can get a tree, I'll be very happy. And I totally miss. <laughs> I missed both trees. They're just sitting right next to me like that guy's an idiot. I missed both trees. Those trees are like, did that guy just try and fall on us? All right, first random briefcase. Good contact, that's what I like to see. Into a, wow, I'm just missing everything. Into a barrel of all things. I missed every large object and I hit like the smallest thing on the screen. I didn't even know how. Another, I wasn't anywhere close to that barrel, but it decided to completely obliterate my entire lower half. I'm not, I'm not giving up until I hit like at least five things out of this plane. I want at least five. It's a lot harder than it looks. I think that was the windshield of the car. It'd be great if there was still someone inside, like some sort of Vin Diesel trying to jump, look cool for, you know, Fast and the Furious 10 million. I'm pretty sure that's either three or four. Oh, we're gonna get five. This is no issue. Now, oh yeah. Oh, there's still an extra engine laying around for me. Oh, my toes missed it, how? There we go. All right, that, that, was a, that was a good break right there. One more box. How am I falling so much faster than everything else, too? It's belt it. So the concept behind belt it is pretty simplistic. You're supposed to find the least number of belts you can use in order to save people on the bus. <laughs> or you could just decapitate them. And then of course, as time goes on, the amount of belts and the amount of people and things that can go flying just continues to increase. I love the precedent this is setting. Like, oh yeah, everyone just sits on the bus with a, with a like a wooden stool. I love how he's sitting sideways too. No fear. So basically we get three ropes of sour punch straws to save people on that level, but that's effectively just the tutorial. Now it's teaching you, you can basically use your ridiculous belts and wrap them around things. It'd be great if you can actually wrap them around people. <laughs> How many times are you allowed to wrap it? Obviously, there's no restrictions. All right, yeah, let's put that over there and then back up here. I don't know, it looks legit to me. Yay, I'm now ready to save human lives. This looks like a punchline. A man, his wife, and a, an 80 pound TV sit in the back of a bus. I just want to save the TV. <laughs> this guy's not even ready. <laughs> he tried to die as fast as possible. Hold on here. I'm going for the big clothesline session. Ah, oh, yeah, see, the heads are just resting against it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say this one goes here, this one here. This one here, and that should be plenty of protection. I'm pretty sure no one can get past all this. Oh yeah, one leg sticking out is nothing. What's a dude in the bathtub? <laughs> what? 
Hold on, I'm just, I'm gonna connect this and not help him at all just because I need to see what the bathtub and the human being do. I'm sure he's fine. Actually, I don't think the accident is what killed him. It's like the 400 pound bathtub that landed on top of him. If I just put this here, will he flip over the bathtub? Yep. I think he may have gotten more distance there actually. So how about this here? Well, the bathtub will probably go, oh, he just slid right back down. That was probably the most painful one of all. Now it's just resting on his spleen. All right, how about this? One, actually here, one single belt. I wanna see if I can get it with one belt. Boom, got it. I feel like the people who packed this weren't trying because there's like an entire stack of clothes and I think that there's an entire stack of clothes inside of the washing machine. What is this, like a dude in inner tube and a dog house? What kind of bus line is this? I think I can get everyone with just one belt. I mean, there's like five places or four places. Yeah, there's five. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. There's an extra belt latch down here that I totally missed. Okay, okay, so one here and then that should do it. Oh yeah, this, this feels strong. Now, he probably did get his groin dislocated oh, at this point. Just, the, he's putting his entire living room in the back of the bus. I don't think I'm getting paid for this. I'm supposed to save the person, not your couch, your whatever this is, and a lamp. There, bam. Oh, the box will probably go flying, but we'll see. If, if I lose one item, do I... I was gonna ask if I have to do it over again, but he also got RKO'd by his lamp. All right. One across, uh, what if I go diagonally? No, that's no good. One here, probably I'll need the third one. I'm gonna find out. I, yeah, like I said, he, I think he got like a good 13 foot distance. How about if I go this way and then this way? The lamp's gonna fly over, so I gotta do the lamp too. Don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> He's still alive! One sacrificial lamp doesn't really feel like it should send me back to the level again. All right, how about this? Uh, and then this. That looks pretty good. The lamp should stay on here. Nope. <laughs> I love how everything managed to go around my setup. Literally everything. How about this? Don't you do it, lamp. I hate you. All right, protect the lamp high, then that, and then there. There's no way that lamp can get around this. Mm. This is oddly more challenging than I gave it credit for. Okay, this is a different way. Now we're going with the all diagonal method. Lamp still got through. Okay, cross plus lamp. Yes, finally. I never thought something this stupid would make me think so much. What is this? <laughs> this dude's probably like, yes, yeah, sleep my lovely. Don't open your eyes. It'll it'll hurt less when the bus inherently crashes. I actually I might only need one belt for this. Well, they, they both kind of lost their bones will to live. So, I mean, I gotta say, yes, this man broke his neck. But all that happened here is the top of his body turned 180 degrees from the bottom of his body. That doesn't necessarily mean he's dead though. All right, one across and then like that. That should do it. I don't even need the third one. How did you? Oh, it still counted. Ha! I love how if the belt saves any part of them, it counts. So even though his entire body went through, his arm got dislocated and it still counted it. I love how they didn't even try to put the smaller boxes on top of the bigger boxes. It's like when an eight year old cleans their room and they just like put a bunch of stuff on top of one another because technically it looks like there's less stuff on the ground then. Yay. Okay, so the idea now is they've increased the speed of the bus. So like I would say, like normally this would probably just keep them inside of the bus, right? Like one single, okay, yeah. So it's definitely starting to move faster. So how about one diagonal? That looks like a really strong belt right there. It would take a lot of force. I love that the dummy got so angry at the poor job I'm doing to save his life that he tried to hurricanrana me. Is there any way for me to do this with only one belt? No, he's just gonna end up eating this. All right, here, we'll use two. How about that? That's, that's gotta be a save. Like, there's no way past, oh, he tried. He's like, hey, everybody. Okay, so I'm kind of curious, like, now there's not even people. Like, who's putting the boxes in the back of the bus? They're sentient boxes. I think the sad part is that I'm having more trouble with the boxes than I do with the human beings. Okay, did that one box just literally matrix out the side of the bus and just like float through the air Jedi style? Uh, yeah, that looks... This doesn't look good, but I've tried almost all the other patterns, so it has to work there. Ah, yes. 
sitting in the back of the bus cross-legged with two wooden missiles chilling out on either side of you. He looks so confident too. All right, so one single belt across all of this. Let me see if the speed is enough. I lost one table. Oh, it still counted. <laughs> he already knows. He's like, ah, oh, not the face. All right, one belt there. If his arm gets over the belt, I think one belt could totally end up cracking his skull against the side of the bus. Um, how about one cross belt? Cause he's gonna fold like that. If his groin gets caught in here, he could stay. Nope. All right, this belt, this belt, and that should pretty much do it. Saved. Great, now it's boxes and the boxes laundry. It is, I think that the boxes are their own like living race of creatures because at this point they're bringing their wardrobe with them. Great, I've discovered a brand new species of flesh eating box. Where am I supposed to put this? The boxes don't need clothing. I think this will actually work. Oh yeah, oh that's strong. Nothing even moved. Now I have a guy in the back of the bus with his entire art gallery with him. How am I supposed to stop this? Actually, you know what? Hold on, I just want to know. Where is all this going to end up going? How much is there? There's a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna work. All right, well, it worked 95%. What kind of painting is this? It's like a 10D painting. It's painted on like a giant rock tablet. It's like the 10 commandments or something. I'm still trying to figure out also if he's waving at me or if he's like gray, don't do it. I feel like this would be a don't do it scenario. Uh, This has to go across the middle because it's the only way to stop this from happening. Only problem is now this one's gonna flip. Well, let me see. Maybe it'll stay in, probably not. I'm pretty sure I just ate that picture. Okay, so this has to go down the middle. And then if we cross this way and cross this way, that looks pretty strong. <laughs> Why do you try so hard to die? All right, I know this looks weird, but this is so this doesn't flip over the top. Still flipped over the top. Okay, how about this? This doesn't look like it should work at all. <sighs> this one dude is just looking at me judgmentally. It's only half of his face too, so I'm only getting 50% judgment. He's like, how many times are you gonna do this, Gray? As many times it takes. Hello, it's a me, Grant Kirkup. You know, that bloke that does the music thing. So those kind souls over at Florida Man Coffee here uh, sent me this uh, coffee chaos blend to try. And uh, I have to say, I thought it was very good. All the better this, it's completely ethically sourced and just right to keep you going for those long nights of gaming. Uh, also, if you subscribe to it, you get 25% off. And I'm having it right now in about 10 minutes. This has to be it. Yes! Finally! How many more times do I have to save the lives of boxes? I'm here to help mankind, or I guess dummy kind. This is kind of cool though, because now you can like flip the things all around like Laffy Taffy, except it's very violent Laffy Taffy. How come that Laffy Taffy didn't hold? Oh, well, I'm sure it's fine now. Uh, basically, at this point, I'm just giving the truck braces. Boom. No one stacks their luggage like this. This isn't real. This doesn't happen. I love how it's just one giant Twizzler that I'm using in order to save the lives of, <laughs> I don't know, all the gerbils that are chilling out inside the suitcases. The suitcases are evolving. Now they're just the larger suitcases. Uh, can I wrap? Yeah, there we are. Oddly enough, at first I was just kind of doing whatever I wanted to to wrap stuff around. I actually feel like this was a good attempt. I feel like this is a like a way over abundance of belts. Like I can actually do this in such a dumb way and it'll still, okay, that will not work at all. I don't even, I don't know what I was thinking. This way, uh, no, that won't work either. I have to... <laughs> okay, I, w I just had to try and see if it would slide out the top. Okay, so you're gonna do cross, down, grab, and then I actually have no idea what to do here. Up, down? Oh yeah, that looks strong. This could work. Look at that, you didn't even have to use all the pegs. Boom, right there, perfect. What? <laughs> can I just put this down here just so I could watch everything fly? What is the point of this? <laughs> it's just like a, it's a half a dozen basketballs. I'm waiting for some dude to be back here and be like, Yeah, I'm just chilling at the back of the bus with my entire medieval sword collection. No big deal. All right, so one low, one like this, one like this, and one like this. I said one like this there that should get it hopefully his arms keep the one mm -hmm. okay go across this way this goes down here this goes up this goes across try sneaking past that 
Yeah. Ah, because they bounce now, it's like extra hard. Okay, we're going wide, long, across here. No, here, there. No, they, all right, you know what? Yeah, whatever, just put it there, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go high, low, here, and here, because this ball keeps on jumping. Well, now this one's just open. Eh, maybe it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna be doing this board a lot. There is no way this ball can get over this. It's impossible. I was so wrong. All right, we're not going with the double cross up top. We're just gonna keep it where it is. Two balls flying out. It sounds really bad, but that's what'll make you redo the board over and over again. Okay, this looks a little strange, but can I get this over one? Oh, whatever. That one ball! I think all my years of trying to murder people on purpose is really like turning against me here. At this point, I failed so many times, this guy is literally trying to hang himself on the belt. He's like, let this be over. There was legitimately only one way to win this, and it took me forever to finally find out the freaking combination. It's try to fly. No joke. The idea is literally to just jump, drag your guy as far as you can, hit everything possible, break all the bones, and then take your money and upgrade your ability to die even more on more and more insane boards. Maybe saying yourself, great. Why are you a police officer? I don't know. The game doesn't make any sense. All I know huh, is my job is to die as hard as humanly possible. There's a front, there's a front forward kind of bendy thing over the legs and then the neck is broken, but somehow I'm not paralyzed. Now what you can do is take your money and upgrade all this stuff until physics completely doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, sure, let's, let's, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's buy all this. How high can you go? Oh, it it just doesn't stop. <laughs> right now, I need to know, can I hit this helicopter? Please say yes. Uh, yeah, all that. Let's do a bunch of this. I have all the money in the universe. Let's just keep pumping it up. Yeah, more money, more money faster. All right, so if I stop at like 10, 10, how ridiculous does it get at this point? <laughs> what happened? Oh, you have to get through the little object and then you win. Okay. Oh, this looks appropriate. So I'm not exactly falling. I'm more just getting run over. If I just jump, oh, <laughs> I just torpedoes and you get to hit every single car. And a Yeety to the right. Mm. Yeah. Behold, Minecraft Ooh. Steve reject over. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be a far jump. I love how he can go through a gigantic piece of stone, but not through a wooden house. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like we need more flying because we just unlocked a wingsuit. Why is it still kind of raining? Woo! Oh yeah! So much for lunch! I always say, never hit a palm tree if you can- I'm levitating off the air. The palm tree is holding me up. It's like, and the winner. You have to go 200 meters or more. I feel like my body is just growing extra bones for me to break. That is a new record. All right, all the power. Yeah, all that. All right. Oh, oh, oh my God. You actually can fly in this game. I'm off the board. The. <laughs> you like the planet! Yes! And red and hot! Okay, okay, real quick. Right. Okay, so what was with that sound? Head first! You can actually take out the palm trees if you hit them hard enough! Don't mind me just jumping in my dinner dress. Oh, wow. This dress is amazing! I can fly! There we go! I want to be one of these voice actors. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go here. There's like a sad bridge. <laughs> I can't even, I didn't even get to jump. Oh, oh God. Oh yeah. Keep the momentum going, Jessica. You can just, oh, oh God. Oh, there's a house in your way. You know what to do. Destroy. There goes the back. Hey, down the final cliff. Punt the tree out of the way. Oh my God, still falling at 13 miles an hour. And she lands in the pocket. 
There you go. I'm great. I don't think you are. Okay. Oh, this is going well. Go over to the left a little bit. Oh, man. Mm, I might actually roll through the finish line. Roll, Jessica. Roll. Really? I hate brain cells. I hate brain cells. I hate them. Come on. Oh, I can't wind over that far. All right, I'll go ahead and... I had to break something in order to be... Oh, onto the boat! Onto the boat! I gotta hit the boat. That is perfect! <laughs> I hit the boat! Gray tries to hit a boat, gets 1.2 million coins. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jessica, you are truly my favorite right now. Oh, there's a lot to break here. I love it. Okay. Through the sign. Just barely over that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the fountain. <laughs> Gotta kill this plant just because it looked at me wrong. <laughs> Would you call me plant? You talking to me? <laughs> I love how I hit everything but the plant. Listen, this is so cool. I'm wearing a helmet. Okay, what else do you want from me? I still gotta destroy that one little building over it's there. Hot. All right, way more flying. All right, how, how well does she defy gravity now? She defies pretty good. Hot dogs, dead. Couple of umbrellas up the Abdullah. I still didn't hit that building though. Here we go. Oh, that was off the building into the hot dog cart. I don't know what this is over here. That was just prizes. Come on, max distance. Max distance. Fly up, up, perfect. Okay, this is an easy win. I love it. Eventually you have to jump into a volcano. <laughs> More money. I love it. It's the floor is lava, only the floor is literally lava. If I touch it, do I just burn to death? Oh. Uh, yes, you just roast. Holy point. Watch this. Can I just like gently jump to my death? All right, how about if I ricochet off the rock? Ready? There it is. And then burn to death. All right, I gotta, I gotta try and beat this here so that we can get past the deadly volcano board. Urgh, there we are. Is this a ski slope? Oh, you can. I was gonna say, I think maybe you can slide off of it. <laughs> I've got to at least try. Come on, slide. Oh man. No, she just breaks her skull, and then she kind of goes off. If I could stop enough, I might be able to touch one of the gondolas. Wait for it. Okay, there's the break. And. Oh, almost got the gondola building. Come on, slowest fall, slowest fall. Hit it, just hit it. This is it, it's the perfect fall! Yeah! I had to hit that building, okay? I said I was gonna do it. More! I have, I've gotten so many points now. Like, there's nothing that can really stop me at this point. I was wrong. And, are those like birds down there? Oh, they're skiers! Tell me I can land on the skiers! <laughs> Hold on, new goal. I will not be the only person who dies here. Uh, ow. Oh, okay, beautiful scorpion right there. Absolutely glorious. May land right on top of the skier. Uh, are they skiing around me? Who programmed you guys with self-preservation? I want my money back. Gonna, I'm gonna try and bank this off to the left. Here we are. It looks pretty good right there. Special delivery. <laughs> You can't hit the skiers, but they're just like hitting a brick wall. I want to see all the boards now. That's got to be enough speed and power, right? It's got to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I've got to hit this gondola thing, though. Ah! Take a field goal. Off the head. Onto the spine. Almost get killed by a skier. I love it. It's like full contact skiing. This is my kind of sport. Uh, I think I hit the wire. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was possible. It totally is. All right. For the win. Got it. I'm literally jumping in space now. <laughs> How much further can this go? I get to I get to jump off of a satellite dish. Okay. <laughs> I hit an asteroid. 
<laughs> okay, gotta hit, gotta hit the satellite dish. I gotta hit it. There's a rock. There's a legitimate rocket. Come on. M G. Okay, so you have to like thumbnail hole through. <laughs> this satellite. I love how there's the United States flag there. This is eventually going to become a real sport. Oh, I might be able to, I might be able to hug to the left. Oh yeah, I just gotta dodge this asteroid. I just ended the planet. Like that is literally a planet killer asteroid that I headbutt back into the atmosphere. Okay, Banks right, Banks left. And gets ready to sneak through. Okay, that is tough to dodge. Okay, get past it. Immediately start dive bombing, then back up. Oh, man. Okay, that looks ridiculous. Finally, I have met a board. That is a legitimate challenge. Through the asteroid, duck down, just barely under it. And somehow I need a ton more height. So way more power. Uh, 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 Wearing heels for this was a fantastic idea. Okay. Turn the bank underneath. Looking good. I think I'm gonna lose most of my scalp. There it goes. Okay, more power. Okay, I've been upgrading this character just nonstop. Are you ready to see something just absolutely ridiculous? Okay. <laughs> okay, watch it. Through the first meteorite. Around all these meteorites. Past this. Right, now get ready. Gotta fall. Gotta fall. And then we're gonna glide through here. Oh, man. <laughs> there might be a way to get through this entire board. I've fallen like over a mile. Look at the boy. I just wanna know if I can fall all the way to Earth. That's all I want. Pass. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, this is looking smooth. I'm just gonna go over everything. I don't have to go through. Look what happened to the spaceship. The spaceship's just going in. I don't know if that's supposed to be. Am I leaving the orbit? I was gonna say, I don't know if that's a physics or what. <laughs> yes! I ricocheted off the orbit. Just let this happen. Let this happen. 83 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, no big deal. 110, 120, getting pretty close to the winny area. Right there. Just gotta smash it with my teeth. And she slides in a whole plate. What is this? What is this? <laughs> you have to land in the moving plane. Oh my god. No. United States Air Force, I'm coming. <laughs> Can I go faster than it? Oh. Oh wow. I'm I'm gaining on it. Hold on. I actually have to start heading downward. Oh, terminal velocity, why have you forsaken me? This has gotta be possible. I'm not sure how though. Oh wow, I have to line this up perfectly and then fall into the flying plane. All right, not yet, not yet, not yet. Now, and then stop. How much closer am I? This is like a, this is like just a measure of, of Trial and error. I'm getting so close. Ah. Now I'm actually kind of curious. What happens if I land on the plane? No joke. I'm going to headbutt this plane to death. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh I could just about lick the tail of the plane. Right on the cockpit. Come on. Come on, baby. Maybe I can even get inside the props. Ah. I love that it just keeps going with me on it and it gives me more and more distance. Oh! I have flown around the entire planet. Oh! I'm actually getting so fast, I'm hitting the plane on the way out. Maybe that's how you win. Oh. What I hit? No! This is it. It is finally going to work. I have been doing this for like the past hour. Plane, I'm going to shove my head 
up your tail if it's the last thing I do. I don't care how bad that sounds. Swim. Swim to it, girl. Swim. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? Why is everything moving in super slow motion? <laughs> Physics is working against me. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's skate three. I have found what is absolutely the most insane glitch worthy stuff in this game. It is inanimate objects, groin smash. That worked out way better than I thought it would. So something I realized uh, is that the things in this game that aren't supposed to move, you can make do incredible things. Welcome to this beautiful plaza where I have placed this shopping cart. Now, while this may look like a completely normal shopping cart, it is in fact a tool of the devil. Now, until I get this right, it's just gonna look like I'm getting into a fight with this thing. Okay, see, we're getting there. You can see that my shoulder blade was already trying to strangle me to death. If I do this correctly, I'm pretty sure that the shopping cart will turn into a black hole and suck my soul out of my body. All right, so what you gotta do is jump, let go, grab the soup. Did I just kill a man? I'm pretty sure I just killed a man. I mean, my, my spine is also hanging out of my back. Hold on. Okay, we need to uh, we need to rewind this because I think that I got launched at like, yep, right there. Right behind me is a dead human being. <laughs> God, I love shopping carts. Alrighty. So, what you do is you leave your skateboard, you go to grab the shopping cart. Of course, the game hates physics in every way possible. And right there, you can see my spine go inside of the child safety area of the shopping cart. Now my head wraps around my body eight or nine times, and then this man gets hurricane kicked right in the chiclets. I'm pretty sure he is dead or has brain damage. All right, and then we continue to spin. And of course, as usual, I end up inside of some shrubbery. Now, <laughs> real quick, I had to zoom in a little bit. Hold on, let me, let me, right there i want you to see what happens the second that the shopping cart decides that it wants to try and murder me now right about here you can see i'm doing a handstand it's like a one-handed handstand because my physics teacher over here is incredibly agile and right here we grab the shopping cart and in just a second you should watch as both of my arms are ripped from my body. There goes the shopping cart into the wall. <laughs> there goes that man getting knocked off his skateboard at Mach 10. <laughs> I have to mention too, this is like a small glitch. It's going to get a lot worse and eventually I want to reach the under realms. The under realms. <clears throat> In case you're wondering, is the low box inside of this game is actually worse than the sky box. It's like a human blender down there, I'm serious. Oh, how did I crack my skull? Shopping cart, I love you! Ah! <laughs> my shopping cart! I'm not giving up until I get a better glitch. Come on, baby. Not yet, and now. Woo, 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 woo! <gasps> Holy, it's a new record. <laughs> I love how my guy still manages to flop at least one more time. Yay, I broke the sound barrier using a shopping cart. My skill set is absolutely pointless. Yay. Now, if you look closely, you'll actually see the very moment that our hero here decides he wants to be an astronaut and then immediately gives up that dream in order to become a human torpedo. <laughs> okay, so our next thing here is gonna be this rail. Now normally, obviously you would grind on the rail, but that's not what we'll be doing. We're going to use this rail in order to launch ourselves into the stratosphere and probably have our skin removed from our body because that is what the rails do. Now what you have to do is you gotta go, switch, and then you gotta bail, and you need to have your hands touch the rail while you're still moving. Switch, jump. Okay, that was an actual grind. Okay, go, switch, and let go. Grab the 
Ah, there it is! <laughs> Okay, so that was like a minor success. The real horror here is when you zoom in and look at what happens to a human being when they interact with the rail. Okay, hold on. <laughs> no, now, God. Do you see that his head was inside of his abdomen? Well, now his head's doing 360 degree turns. But yeah, there we go, there we go, right there. Look at it. <laughs> Ah, it's like, give me an A! <laughs> I'm basically a human owl. Okay, I can swivel my head 360 degrees. Oh, apparently I can also swivel my back 360 degrees. I'm like a, I'm like an accordion. Why am I slowly getting more and more bystanders while I do this? You guys have to watch me while I... You know what? Keep watching me. You guys are good luck. <laughs> See? Normal human being? Demonic human being. God, it's like one of the Conjuring movies. I left my spinal column at home. I feel like my guy is part squid. I don't even know where my head is. I literally don't know where it is right now. I mean, there it is, but before that, I'm pretty sure it was, oh, my foot, I'm pooping my own foot out. Fantastic. This game can produce some of <laughs> the most cursed images that a human being can have. Look at that! <laughs> God! Oh no! First name Stanley, last name Picasso. My helmet is coming out of my rectum. God, even my toes are broken! Look at, look at my, look at my shoe! It's doing like a full 360 twist! You get a great shot of my underwear from here. You can actually see that guy in the green in the background holding his skateboard. He's like, I gotta pick a different hobby. Okay, so you may remember the super dude. You can use it to go up into the sky, but you can also use it to go into the underworld. Now, if I can get it, I will go through the ground. And like I said, it is just a mess of human blenders beneath the top soil here. Gotta wait and now, there it is, there it is. Okay, hold on, we can get it better. There we go, I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> is, it, is, is it done? <laughs> oh God, no, it's not done yet. Okay, I think it's finally done. Oh yeah. Oh, I got the hang of this now. Come on, baby. Oh, what? Oh, did the, what? My points went backward. Did you see it? My points, my points went backward again. What have I done? I mean, I've gone to space, but I think I've made the points divide by zero or something. It went from 15,000 down to 5,000, then back up to like 12,000 and down to 7,000. And now we're just stuck. I, I thought the game had crashed for a second. My timing is on whoa whoa i got shot out i left I, I actually left satan's home yeah <laughs> i escaped 111,000 points we are we're going for it at this point there's like water down here i'm in the sunken place I'm pretty sure that my skin just got removed from my body. All I saw was my pelvis and one leg for a moment. <laughs> the blender down here is so good. There's another thing though after this that's, you'll see. All right, I just want one more. That's that's even better, hold on. Yeedly dee, Satan loves me. Come on. Now I don't want to get all the way down to the water. I need to sit in, ow. <laughs> All right, well, I need to not fail immediately. I need to get down in between the ground and where the water starts. Here, no. I'm serious, when you, when I get the glitch the full way that I want, you'll understand what I meant when I said, we're gonna go to the underworld. The power of Satan! Oh, oh, there we go. Ah, uh. Satan, yes! My skin has been removed from my body. Come on, I want to go all the way to the... Oh. That... This is it. This is it. 15,000. Look at the number. <laughs> Look. All right, ready, ready? Times two, times three, times four, times five, times six. <laughs> yes. I've gone to the core of the earth. I brought a skateboard to the core of the earth. 
You don't just have to go down either. You can also, uh, come on. There we go. Launch yourself to the sky. <laughs> By a memorial park. <laughs> I decided I wanted to go live on Uranus. I'm uh, getting a sunburn up here. I'm getting so close to the sun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, while we're dealing with basically every inanimate object, I mean, it's kind of animate, but, <laughs> or I could totally miss. You can actually glitch off of human beings. All you have to do is hire a guy <laughs> to take pictures of you. And if you time it just right, you can ruin both his and your life. I mean, or I could just break my knees off. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, uh, yes. When you don't have a pool, just go swimming in the concrete. <laughs> it's about as Florida man as a Florida man can get at this point. And speaking of Florida men, if you want to be one, we actually have our own coffee brand now. It's literally called Florida Man Coffee. We crush our beans Florida man style. Totally legitimate review from Richard Nixon. I mean, realistically, everyone needs a little Florida man in them at some point. It's over at floridamancoffeeco.com. And if YouTube doesn't screw me over, it may also be underneath the video. Come on, baby, just one time. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> I know 185 miles an hour. So, uh, hold on. I never thought I would reach like my fastest speed ricocheting off of a human being. <laughs> what has happened here? What sort of Gumby level possession is occurring? Yes, right here, uh, you can see I've been possessed by Stretch Armstrong. I even have a, my arm growing out of my esophagus. Notice here some fantastic break dancing maneuvers right there. The lovely fold the laundry yoga style maneuver. There we are. And to think all this started from abusing one camera guy. <laughs> okay, so there's one more incredible inanimate object I want to show you. Now you may be saying to yourself, Great. Why are you hugging a park bench underneath a bridge? So, hold on. What you do, you grab it, and then... <laughs> and you know, you, you get incredible road rash. Now that's just the beginning, because you can make this thing explode you in the most evil of ways. Come on, bench. It's just you and me, we need it. We need to be really close friends. Oh, man, your landscaping is beautiful over here. All right, baby, let me have this. You're not calling an ambulance. I'm going to be injuring myself pretty much all day. Although I guess I'll keep the EMTs. Have oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so. Now we, now I get to show you the evil. Are you ready? Okay. Now you can see the leg starting to, you know, convulse wildly. And right there, I ride along the underside of the bridge. My pelvis stabbing me in the heart while I attempt to eat my own shoulder. And then you go through the low box get vomited out of the ground and head into the skybox. Low box, see, right here. <laughs> no skin either, it's just bones at this point. <laughs> and then you get vomited out into the skybox. <laughs> right there. I don't even, my, like, my bones are all just one congealed solid object now. I don't even know where something like my right arm or my spine or anything begins and where it ends. This is one tenth speed, by the way, right here. Everyone who sees this, everyone who caught a glimpse of this trauma is going to have to go to therapy for the rest of their lives.